Hey, I'm Diana Taurasi from the Phoenix Mercury, and you're listening to the Three Point Conversion Radio. Thanks. We're going to start with um, Michelle Vopel, followed by Jeff Metcalf. Yeah, Skylar, I know you talked about this uh, after the last game, but was this, is, I guess, the the reaction in the last two games, is this just you guys saying, hey, we, we want to play the way we know we can play? Can you can you kind of um, elaborate on that? We're just competing. Um, yeah, I mean, we're short. We were short. They're short. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a WNBA. You can't just put the jersey on and get out on the court and expect anybody to bow down to you. Like, you have to take every game in this league. And um, we just weren't performing how we knew we could perform. And we came together a few days ago. We had to get together. We let our hair down a little bit. And we're like, okay, let's recalibrate this season and decide what we want to do. And, um, you know, we still ain't done nothing yet. We just won two games. But um, obviously the caliber of teams, these are the top two teams in the league that we face. We have to go back to Seattle and, and just build off of this. So I'm not getting too high or too low. But obviously we, we understood we were underachieving, Michelle. And we wanted to step it up. And if I could just ask one more, I know you still have this other game against Seattle, but um, how big is next week for you personally when you think about All-Star and playing for Team yeah. USA, the exhibitions? I mean, there, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I can't even think about that right now. Like, I literally have to compartmentalize. It's so much going on, but I'll say this. I'm looking forward to it. Um I'm, I'm focused on this last game at Seattle. And then I'll be honest with you, I just have to cross that bridge when I get there because I know all the emotions and, and everything will come to me. Um, but for right now, I can't even think that far. I just, I'm really just focused on Seattle, but I'm very excited about next week and the next few weeks. Thank you. Next up is Jeff Metcalf followed by Alex Simon. You really set the tone tonight with the steals you had in the first half. Uh, off Jewel and and just it seemed like the defensive uh, intensity kept up, you know, even after you left after you lost Sophie, that helped you guys keep control of that game. Sure. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it starts with uh, Brianna Turner on defense. Uh, to me, she's the defensive player of the year this year. Um, you know, Stewie's an MVP caliber player, and we know what she's done to everybody. But the effort that Breezy put in tonight. Um, she definitely has to, to get more credit as, as defensive player of the year and be a front runner for that. So I'm going to put my bid in and I know I'm biased, but I think that effort that she put out tonight, um, it's hard to disagree with me at this point, but um, she set the tone for us. We talked at the beginning of the game and I knew um, that I needed to step up my defense, especially the team. We don't if you let them get in the rhythm. They'll just score in bunches. So we're just trying to be disruptive. And um, when Sophie went out, um, Shay had to come in and handle a big role there in the second half. Can you just talk about how the two of you kind of meshed together? Uh, yeah, I mean, Shay and I had chemistry. Like, we met each other like, hi, I'm Skylar. Hi, I'm Shaylani. And then we got on the court last year in the bubble and had chemistry. So we've just been building off that this year. Um, a lot of people forget she's a vet um, as far as her experience in this, in this league and as a pro. Um, she's very smart. She has an IQ and, um, we need what she brings to the table, which is energy on defense. And she has the ability on offense, uh, to get downhill, to push the ball in transition and to set up, you know, the offense and run the offense for us, uh, you know, giving me a break at the two. So I thought she played really important minutes. I thought Megan Walker stepped up, especially with the absence of, of Sophie. And, um, obviously, you know, BG did what BG does and, and it was a total team effort night contribution wise on both sides of basketball, I thought. Next up is Alex Simon followed by Danny Thompson. You've spoken quite a bit just here, Skylar, about your teammates and their defending, but you led the team in blocks tonight with two. And I'm just curious for yourself in terms of defense and what you guys are able to do. I mean, other than Russell, you guys had all of them shooting 40% or under. For you yeah. even in particular, what does that kind of night for you guys mean defensively? Yeah, I mean, just trying to do my part, um, you know, like I said, just trying to be more defensive minded as 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 I am um, as passionate about defense as I am about offense. And and as we look at the tape, as we look at the film, I felt like that was one area that I can contribute to this team. And to be honest with you, um, Alex, going into Team USA, you know, I don't know what my role is, but this year I felt like 
um, you know, preparing for that defensively. Um, you know, I want to be able to to be that for, for Team USA if that's what my role is, whatever it is. I just wanted to really lock in on defense this year. And that's something that, you know, Sandy and I talked about all off season and uh, Zach O'Brien, you know, just here working, um, you know, with Derek uh, Nielsen, our strength conditioning coach, lateral. Um, so it was something going into the season that I'm focusing on. And so I, I'm going to continue to focus on that side of basketball. And you've also mentioned at various points, and it's statistically obvious that you're one of the league leaders in free throw attempts and you get to the line. Does that, when you're able to drive and kind of force that penetration inside, draw fouls, does that actually kind of also help your shooting from outside as well? Sure. I mean, obviously, anytime you get a chance to see the ball go through, it helps. And um, I think just having that relaxation, you know, at the free throw line, just kind of recalibrating myself um, and seeing the ball go through the net. Absolutely. And then when I'm being aggressive like that, obviously, we score when the clock stop. We're able to get our game plan together. And, um, you know, it, it really helps when I'm being aggressive, going downhill, open up things for my teammates with more people having a shift and help. Our last question will be with Danny Thompson. Skylar, Danny Thompson with a three-point conversion. Great win, great performance tonight. You mentioned you always talk about your teammates and what everybody does, but on a personal level tonight, you had the three steals, you had the two blocks, you had 12 points in the fourth quarter. You were everywhere on the court. Individually, do you think this was the best game you have played all around all season tonight? Absolutely. Um, and that's something that Jim Pittman said to me. Uh, you know, I've had more points. I've had more assists. But I think just all around, um, I know what I can bring to the table when I'm locked in. And, um, you know, tonight I was finally able to put it all together. So I'm not going to get too high off of this game. I'm not going to get too high off what we just did. We still ain't did nothing yet. So I just want to, I know what I can bring to the table for this team. And I feel like I can contribute other ways besides just scoring the basketball. So I'm going to just continue to try to contribute on both sides. Um, with our team being short, we have to have that next woman up mentality. So I think all of us are conscious that we have to do a little bit more. Thanks for the time, Skylar. Thanks.